Okay, so today we're going to do percent change. So the formula that you would do to do percent change is you find the difference between the numbers per order of the original, set equal to the percentage over 100. Okay, so I would write this somewhere on the top of your paper. All okay. right, let's do one together. So Chad played three hours of Pokemon Go per day during the summer. During the summer, since school began, he was only allowed to play one hour per day. So, um, his original starting time is three. He now is only allowed to play one hour. So you had to find the difference between that. So the difference would be three minus one, which is two. So then you would set it up two over three, which equals X over 100. So you would cross multiply, you get three X equals 200. Divide three to both sides. You get X is equal to 66.6 .6 repeating. All right, Karen has seven EVs in her Pokemon stash. She transfers some into the professor and now she only has two EVs. So her starting point seven minus two is five. So you do five over seven, which equals X over 100. So then you get seven X equals 500. So you divide 500 by 7, which is 71.43, which you round it up. Okay, now you try one. It takes 200 coins to get a bag upgrade in Pokemon Go. The creators decided to throw a sale on a bag upgrades. For one day only, anybody can upgrade their bag to, for 125 coins. So you would do 200 minus one, 125, and you get a difference of 75. Put it over the original out of 200, set it equal to x over 100. And when you uh, found your answer, you would get 37.5%. All right, Dustin only has 11 Pokeballs. To collect more, he went to a few Poke spots and now has 33. So you would do 11 minus 33, and you get negative 22. Well, you need to find the absolute value of that, so it'd just be 22. So it'd be 22 over 11, which equals X over 100. So you get 11X is equal to 2200. You divide by 11 to both sides and you get 200. So it'd be a 200% increase. Okay, let's try another one. Jose began the day with eight magic carps. After spending the day at the lake, he ended up with 16. So you do eight minus 16, which is negative eight, find the absolute value of that, which is eight. So it'd be eight over eight, which is one whole, which is equal to X over hundred percent, which I know that would have to be a hundred, but I'll just do it anyway. So you get eight X equals 800, divide both sides by eight, you get hundred percent. Okay, now you try one. Alex defeated 10 gems today. She started with 440 coins and it now has 540 coins. So it'd be 100% difference, excuse me, not 100%, 100, 100 coin difference. So it'd be 100 over 440 is equal to X over 100%. When you cross multiply and divide, you will get 22.7, which you round up to 23%. Becky's Vaporeon is at CP level of 1645. She decided to power it up for 3% increase. So I would do X, over 1,645 because I don't know how much is being, in, um, I don't know what the new level is. So then I would do 3% over 100. I would then do three times six, uh, 1,645, which is 44,935 is equal to 100X. You divide 100 by both sides, you get 49.35. 
And that's how much it's increasing by. Since it's increasing by that much, you would take with what you started with and subtract it. No, excuse me, add it. I'm thinking about the next problem. When you add it, you get 1,694.35. Okay, now you try one. James started with 22 Super Bowls and decreased his stash by 15%. So it would be X over 22 is equal to 15 over 100. Once you solve the proportion, you will get 33.3. 3. Well, you can't decrease 3.3 super balls. So you have to round to the nearest whole number, which is 3. So then you would do 22 minus 3, which is 19. So you would have 19 super balls now. Thank you, guys.